Welcome to the life of a moto commuter. All right, well, uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, Wednesday afternoon, about 5.30-ish, 5, 5-ish, I don't know. And I'm finished with my third call of the day and now headed to get a very late lunch. and loaded up my rain gear because uh, I can already tell I'm going to get wet. <laughs> it's uh, really raining over there. Ooh, I'm getting rocked. Wind and off camber surface. It's a double whammy. going to cause an accident. It's just a matter of time. So, I don't have any idea uh, on my demographics for my channel viewers, uh, you know, as far as states uh, here in the United States. I can just see countries and kind of ages and that sort of thing. But, a question to any of my viewers that might be out in California. Uh, are your traffic jams like this on 405 and some of the big freeways out there because we don't have any way around it it's just this is it you're stuck good luck there's really no alternate paths that you can take uh, the you know, through areas like this there are no toll lanes or HOV lanes or whatever and as a motorcyclist here you can't split lanes now, obviously on a Riker I can't split lanes anyway but this just it sucks man it's a, a giant bag of suck I'm probably going to be stuck in this for a good mm, hour and change. I'll turn off the camera at some point because I'm just going to be sitting still. It's doing nothing but burning battery and uh, I'm going nowhere. So, sitting in this, in the rain, dead still. Oh goody. didn't want to be over here on this side of town past about you know, 3 45 or 4 o'clock didn't have a choice this is rush hour in Houston pretty much every day rain obviously makes it worse and uh, accidents will make it worse hey thunder but yeah you know, even even in clear weather it's this is it that's what you get yeah, we got some ponding on the roads over here. You can see the uh, cars in the rightmost lane over there throwing roosts. Oh, 
this position at all. Big truck on the left, one in front, one behind, and a bunch of aggressive traffic on the right. No bueno. gear is doing a good job as usual. The only problem are my gloves. I've got these mesh summer gloves so my hands are soaking wet. But everything else is dry and toasty. Sweaty. Yeah. It's not too bad. The temperature's dropped enough that I'm not sweating, sweating, but it's humid. I'm going to get out of this because at least with the shoulder I have an escape path. In case somebody does something really dumb. Okay, so this uh, this might take the prize for the most boring Riker commute ever. <laughs> I thought my first uh, rain ride uh, boring commute that I did on the Riker was uh, bad, but this one is, uh, this one's gonna be worse. Guy in this truck is really aggressive and inconsistent. Kiss my enough of you people. Polite only goes so far. It's one real problem with driving in busy cities, Houston in particular. If you drive at a safe limit behind other cars, a safe distance, everybody and their dog is going to come over and jump in front of you and just keep that train going. And you get pushed further and further and further back and invariably those guys that are so hyper aggressive to cut you off they're the ones that slow down in front of you Ooh, i hydroplaned right there yeah i definitely hydroplaned i felt the whole bike move sideways I don't have my pin lock in here as I mentioned the other day, so I'm fogging up like crazy. I want to crack my visor a little bit, but I keep getting wet. riding in the rain. Just don't like doing it in heavy traffic like this. Right next to rigs that are going to weave out of their lane. Ah, now we're getting in the thick of it. And I 
don't have my uh, heavy rain jacket that's got a extended collar and all that so my neck is starting to get wet now because this stuff's coming down hard stopping in this yeah it's windy 25 30 mile an hour winds here blowing this rain around Luckily, this is the end of my day. I don't have anywhere else to go, so I'm not in a hurry to get there, and I don't care if I'm wet. <laughs> now, if this were in the morning and I was on my way to a client site, yeah, that would suck. Ooh, yeah, this is some wind. I think I have uh, found a leak in my pants. My right leg is getting wet on the back part of my thigh, so I think, uh, yep, sure enough, it's, uh, it's leaking through. I might have to upgrade my pants here. This is the part that sucks, you know, getting stuck on the, ooh, man, that's windy. Uh, on a bike, just sitting still in traffic in the rain is what sucks because you, you're just sitting in a pool of water, you know. That's what I uh, not so affectionately call swamp balls. This is a whiteout. I don't know if you guys are seeing that on the camera, but really more than about, I don't know, not even 75 yards, and it's, uh, it's just white. You can't see anything. I can see the cars that are directly in front of me, but beyond them, you can't see much at all, if anything. This is heavy duty. <laughs> this is good stuff. Well, my plan was to go to a restaurant right over here and sit down and have a nice dinner and wait for this to pass, but I'm going to be so wet, I don't know if I feel comfortable going into the restaurant. Like mangy mutt that just came in from outside. Oh yeah, this is serious wind here. This is 45 mile an hour gusts. There's hail in this too. Crap, <laughs> that hurts. Got pelted by a big hailstone, probably about a nickel size hailstone on my leg. Well, welcome to the life of a moto commuter. I can't even read the street signs. I have no idea where I'm at. There we go, now I can read it. Shepherd is in uh, three quarters of a mile, so that's where I'm gonna try to get over if I can find a spot to make it happen. If somebody will be nice enough to let me. I doubt that, but we'll find out.
Yeah, my right leg is fully soaked now. And it's actually running down the back of my uh, my jeans into my boot, which sucks. Waterproof boots are only good if you're not feeding them from the top. Looks like I'm going to have to retire these uh, rain pants and get my other ones. I have a uh, set of Nelson Rig, uh, I can't remember what it is, AS4000 or something like that. Uh, it's a two-piece rain suit, really good. The uh, pants are, you know, the PVC or whatever, so they're 100% waterproof as long as you don't have pokes or holes or whatever in them. These are actually the inner liners uh, from a set of Olympia touring pants that I have, and they normally work pretty well, but not for uh, not for rain that's quite this thick. to judge uh, distance and how far you're going uh, when you're moving this slow. <laughs> it's like, uh, how far have I gone? A block, two blocks, quarter mile, how long has it been? I need to get over to uh, exit, but I don't know when or where that's going to be. I'm going to go now because if I don't, I'm never getting over there. Hey, there's enough water there that it just splashed all the way up to my knee. i got to come over, so I'm going now, buddy. Hey, I made my exit, look at that. Yeah, there's so much water on the highway here, it's uh, ponded. I'm just, I don't want to look too long, but I'm just trudging through it. It's a couple inches thick, it's coming down hard. On the downslope of this, uh, on the exit ramp, it's probably going to be heavier because that's the way it's going to drain. Uh-oh, now my butt's wet, too. Oh, he couldn't even see that water. That was deep. <laughs> My visor is so fogged up, I can barely see anything. Oh yeah, now I can see it. Cracked my visor one notch. Look through the bottom of it. Yeah, water is three inches deep or worse in some spots. Getting up here, you can see it's over the top of the curb almost. Heading toward this drain. Okay, so the guy in front of me has his emergency flashes on, letting everybody know that the uh, the water is bad and there's other hazards. It's a great thing to have. Why didn't the uh, Can Am uh, bean counters decide to put the uh, emergency flasher switch on the Riker for the U.S. market? Doesn't make any sense. I mean, how much does the switch cost? It ties into the Can bus, so there's nothing, you know, no extra wiring. It's a little switch. It fits right there. I've seen it on the, uh, the uh, foreign models, pictures, whatever. So the uh, emergency flasher, the four-way switch, and the uh, parking brake lock. I mean, what the hell? Would that add $25 to the bike? Okay, increase the price by 25 bucks. I don't think I understand that logic.
see if my phone freaks out again today. Yesterday in the rain, uh, it really threw a hissy fit. Couldn't operate the controls on it. And hit the home button and nothing worked. And kept uh, bringing up the Google uh, Assistant, whatever, uh, because it thought that uh, I was pressing the home button because there was water in or around the uh, button down there. Man, this place looks totally different whited out. I can't see squat. I have no idea where I am. And this water is four or five inches deep here. And all these aggressive a-holes and trucks and you know, run people over. Come on, where's my valet? I see the valet station. Come on. Come out and valet me. <laughs> I am going to cheat and park right up here in the front. And if they don't like it, they can just suck it. Wow, look how much water there is. This is serious, serious rain. Yeah, every time I hit the brakes going forward like that, I can hear a clunk. So I'm gonna have to check that out, make sure it's not uh, the uh, front wheel nut that other people have uh, mentioned. That would be bad news. No parking for everyone else, but parking for me. Okay, yeah, I am really soaked. My legs are just 100% soaked right now. These pants are not doing the job. Okay, well. Uh, just a posterity uh, view here of the bike getting rained on. And uh, look how much water is on the roads. Six plus inches deep over there. Got a river on the sidewalks here. Yikes.